What's in the Cup. I'm Sue Pasteur. I'm Steve Okers. Julie Bacon. Woohoo! Cheers. Cheers. Yummy. Welcome again to Blue 35. We're at the rooftop deck. How many stories up are we? I Eight, think we're like, nine. are we? Nine? Yeah. What? Yeah. We're nine Shut stories up. up. It's so awesome. pretty. Like we should move. Like, look, yeah, we, it's yeah. So pretty. Look at downtown. Um, and we have been, <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing a series on grit. So if you've seen the previous, um, it is the power of passion and perseverance. Mm -hmm. And um, what we want to talk today a little bit about is how you become gritty. Some people do have that power of perseverance uh, through life situations. They basically had nothing went right for them in their life. They had difficult situations. So they had to learn. They had to just to survive and to thrive. They had to learn how to navigate. And then there's the other people that she describes which she calls fragile perfects. And um, I hate that term. Um, but I guess, you know, it was sort of like this idea that people think if they haven't had obstacles, how do the same people get just as gritty, want a goal just as bad? So that's what we're going to talk about. What's your, what's your take on that? What's my take on that? Yeah, so it's, it's always fascinating for me. Um, I'm doing a lot of interviewing of people that are thinking of becoming real estate agents, yes. right? So that's they'll call and, and they'll say, hey, I, Steve, I got referred to you. I'm thinking of being I mean, a real estate agent. And I am looking for grit, right? Like that's what you look for. You know, there's a lot of companies that might grab anybody, but you, you want to look for somebody that has grit. And how do you determine that? Really, a lot of it does come from background and experience with whatever profession they're in. Um, and it, uh, for, for me, the, there's always a moment, right? I feel like there's moments in people's careers or moments in our careers um, or in life, it doesn't really matter when, that says, no, I'm no longer going to accept this, I'm gonna go here, here, right? And so I think that for me is the grit, is like I'm not willing to accept my current status. Um, I, want to, I want to advance myself to this next step, right? Mm -hmm. And that doesn't always have to be more money or more success, it no. just means that it's forward moving, right? Mm -hmm. And so, um, you, know, I, you know, I remember as a kid being called dumb and we've talked about that before and and uh, you know, I, I, I look out uh, behind Andrew and see Division Street and remember driving down it with my mom and mom saying, you can't look either side because you're gonna see naughty stuff. Uh, <laughs> but then stopping at the Salvation Army to get our, our school clothes, right? And thinking, man, I am poor, we are poor. And what does that mean? And, and so, you know, I think, you know, for me, the grittiness comes from that. I, yeah. I know what that looks like. And so risk isn't a big deal. For me, it's like I know where the bottom is, or what I perceived Still as the survived. bottom. Still survived. I yes. did good, right? Yeah. And yeah. I'm hanging out with you, beautiful women, and I'm on a deck, <laughs> and like we're in downtown. Like, oh, like this is an incredible experience. And and I would just say that it's um, you kept working. You at have it, to choose, you, you right? You chose, but you, you also chose. worked at it. You worked at right? your profession and your craft, and you still do every day. Right. And so yeah. I think that's where the grit complacent. sort of analysis yeah. came for me was, you know, finding a passion that you're excited about. I love sales, and I love people. But then it's just being willing to consistently work on yes. it, right? I mean, that's, that's you Absolutely. too, right? Absolutely. I mean, I have so many stories where I could go right. into that. Um, I mean, do I have do I have to right now? No. I don't no. know what. But I mean, even we're use. here. Like, think yeah. think about the grittiness to get here with right. the three yeah. of us, right? Well, like I said, let's do a video, and you guys were like. H no. Yeah. No, <laughs> we had true. private conversations <laughs> right. around Steve. Like, right. Are you sure? Are you, Are you sure? sure? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like we got yeah. this. Yeah. And now like this is like yeah. us. Like people yeah. enjoy us on yeah. camera and what we do. And maybe. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Right? But <laughs> otherwise we enjoy each yeah. other yeah. on the rooftop yeah. back and that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I could say, that's, well, I spoke to the other piece of it is I didn't have lots of obstacles. I would be right. what people would say. I have a a nice family, parents who were together 54 years. So how would you build what she called the fragile perfect or something? Uh, people who didn't have obstacles, they just naturally had to say, I'm doing it because somebody said I couldn't. Julie right, said right. that earlier. Yeah. Right. Don't ever tell Julie she can't do anything. <laughs> right, she no. will do it and then she'll come show you. She'll come show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So where did my, I, mine came from other people believing in me. And I know exactly there's lots of yeah. specific people who said, you know what, you're capable of more than that. Or I think, why don't you try this? Yeah. And I started to push myself. And um, so 
of speaking into people, that was one of the things yeah, I Yeah, Angela to share. talked about that, right? Yeah, as you're talking to new agents, it's like, yeah, yeah you can do this. You know, speaking yeah. into people, and all of a sudden they kind of rise up their yeah. shoulders. It's yeah. like, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah I can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That makes me think of something because my one thing so I had a, had and have, as you guys know, an awesome family. <laughs> They'll share it more than anybody <laughs> else. Hi, family. But <laughs> but my grandma once told me, Julie Christine, someday you're gonna be the smartest woman on earth. And I was like, oh. I was like, why? She's like, because you have to learn everything the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Meaning, I, I like to um, make life difficult for myself sometimes. Yeah. 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 But I dig myself out of those holes. Yeah. And that is that's that grit. is your grit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Steve Okers. Sue Pastor. Julie Bacon. This is What's in the Cup. Thanks for following us. Charity Group. There's a bee, Andrew. It's oh right there. Where Get him. He? Get he's your shoe. <laughs> I know he's got the hat on too. This guy means yeah. business.